Hello, my name is Ashley and this is Faithful Rattos. Welcome or welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about agouti and it's going to be part of my rat genetics and varieties series here on my channel. I thought I'd start with the basics right at the very start and this is the basics and the basis for pretty much everything that I'm going to talk about when it comes to rat varieties and rat genetics, etc. So I'm editing this video now and I had to restart the video a lot of times because things just kept going wrong and I forgot to mention that agouti isn't just a thing in rats, it's a thing in lots of different species. I'll show you on the screen, rabbits, guinea pigs, mice, like literally so many species of animal. The wild type, as it's called, is agouti and is the same like principle in those species. It's not just rats that this applies to. I'm not totally sure on how those genetics work with all those different species, especially when domesticated, but rat isn't the only species that has the agouti colouring. Yeah, sorry about that. So agouti is something that is a little bit complicated to get your head around if, if you're not super confident when it comes to genetics, but it's really important to understand so that you understand everything else. So I'm going to define a couple of genetics terms and so we can get into the video. So when it comes to genetics, there are a couple of things that you need to know. One of them meaning allele, and allele is a copy of a gene. So when you are fertilized, when the egg that becomes you is fertilized, and this goes for every single species, you get one copy of the gene from your mum and one copy of the gene from your dad. And they are both alleles and the two alleles together make up what you're going to look like. And we're gonna talk more about that in a second. So every allele will have a partner and if it doesn't, then that is a problem. <laughs> Then we're gonna talk about loci. So a lot of different genes are on the same area of the genetic code and a lot of different genes on the same loci can be alleles of each other, if that makes sense. So for example, agouti and non-agouti are on the agouti loci, locus, because loci is the plural. Then what else? Then Punnett squares. We, I will show up a Punnett square on the screen and a Punnett square is showing you about inheritance and how to predict what might come up in in litters. And I think that's all the terms that we need for now. If there's anything else, I'll try to explain it as we go along. So at the agouti, look, there are two options of allele that you can be passed on from your parents. And I'm now talking to you as if you're a rat fetus waiting to be born. One of them is the agouti allele, the dominant allele. Agouti is dominant, and that is denoted in written down sources with a capital A. Or you could have a copy of the non-agouti allele, which is a little lowercase a, and this is common when you're talking about genetics in every single scenario. The dominant alleles will be labelled with a capital letter, and the non-dominant alleles, the recessive alleles, or the co-dominant alleles, will be denoted with a lowercase letter. So the non-agouti gene is, the non-agouti allele, is denoted with a lowercase a. And so when we're talking about inheritance, if I throw up a Punnett square up here, if you have two copies of the agouti gene, two copies of big A, if you have big A, big A, you're going to be agouti. If you have big A little a or little a big A, you will be agouti too because it's a dominant gene. And if you have little a little a, these, this is a recessive gene, you have two copies of the recessive gene, this means you'll present this recessive gene, you will be black. So the absence of an agouti gene creates black. And when we talk about rat varieties, every single rat variety that we have is either agouti based or black based. Some people call the black based rats self and this is a little bit confusing because I think in some places self can also refer to a non-marked rat, an unmarked rat, so something that isn't hooded or Essex or roan or anything and that does become a little bit confusing because some people, people will say that this is an agouti self when they mean it's an agouti that is unmarked and that's just not really true. So let's talk a little bit about what an agouti rat actually looks like. So an agouti rat has this 
brownish black coat that is heathered, which is, I, I can't describe, I can't think of another word other than heathered because that is what that is called. It is sort of dimensional. There's a lot of dimension to an agouti coat, especially a really good agouti coat. And the agouti coat in each individual hair is banded. So at the bottom, it's black and at the top, it's brown. And this is what the gene is telling the hair to do, is telling it to be banded. So the basic agouti will have black and brown, but when it comes to the agouti gene being present with other, other genes to make other varieties, the banded colours can look differently. And an agouti rat will also have a grey belly. And this is another telltale sign that you can spot on agouti flavoured varieties. So you know now all about the agouti gene, it is a dominant gene and it can be affected and flavoured with other recessive, what we call dilute genes. And I'll talk about the dilute genes and other things in a later video. It can be affected by um, a number of different genes to have different looks, but it will still have this banded hair and this greyish stomach, this greyish belly area. And I'm going to go through and show you pictures of lots of different agouti based rats and what they look like. So you have a Russian blue agouti, you have the silver fawn, you have the wheat and Burmese, you have cinnamon, you have silver agouti. As you can see, this list is pretty much endless. Obviously it's not endless, it depends on what other genes and dilutes are present, but the agouti gene being present will create this banded effect and this grey belly in all of the varieties that it is present in. And I will go on to make future videos about other different genes and what their impact is, what um, other dilutes do and combinations of those genes, etc, etc. The next video that I'm going to make is going to be about pointed varieties, which is super, super exciting. <laughs> I'm very excited because shaded is one of my favourite things. And yeah, so I hope this was an informative video. If there's absolutely any questions, if there's something that I haven't explained properly, please leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. And yeah, who is running? Oh, that is Aldwin that is running. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye!